with this little guy right here. This is my bootleg container that I've got the uh, interrupter in, but you can see you just flip on burst mode and it basically just PWMs the PWM, which is pretty cool. <laughs> inverter keeps crapping out that's how my interrupter came out uh, you know, the four pots obviously burst mode the interrupter as is uh, you can see on time maximum of about 300 uh, microseconds and lowest BPS is about 115 it goes up to about 900 15 or so and you can see though as I go up and down and the BPS the on time is rock solid and what I ended up <clears throat> adding to pin 2 of the uh, BPS triple five was just about three microfarads so this is my simulated switch here that I haven't added yet so with my switch on now uh, that three microfarad brought me down to about uh, you can see about three hertz or so, and that's about typical for your uh, low BPS setting. So about three hertz up to about 26 hertz or so, and that's about right. Now for an SSTC, um, I would need to add. An adjustment to uh, change the to let the on time be a lot higher than it is um, but for a DR SSTC that's about good so just simple switch there addition of three microfarad and uh, that's how you go back and forth from your uh, you could say low BPS to your high BPS let me let me take that back off so back to the high BPS let's just see what um, burst mode does so I'm gonna cut burst mode on and you can see basically what that's doing is um, is trimming the on and off times of those pulses. So that's one knob up and down. And this is the other knob up and down. So that's how you can uh, PWM the PWM to get cool little effects like that.